Louise uh, joins me now from Westminster. Thank you very much indeed for being with us. Uh, why now? Why have you decided to leave the Labour Party now? Well, I've had to make a decision because of the impending general election. And I had to ask myself whether I'd be willing to ask people to vote Labour under Jeremy Corbyn's leadership. And I had to come to the very sad conclusion that I couldn't do that. And that's why I've decided to leave the Labour Party. Uh, were you also facing uh, deselection? I think there was a trigger ballot coming up in your constituency. The, the local party has been given permission to go ahead um, with a ballot to decide who they want to represent them in the future, but that official process hadn't started. Three branches did try to jump the gun by having no confidence votes in me, but they were told by the regional Labour Party they couldn't go ahead with that. And what, what of your future? Will you stand as an independent or uh, join another party and, and stand at the next election or are you deciding that you're not going to stand? Well, I, I really haven't given any thought at all to what I might do at the general election. I've just been agonising over this very difficult and traumatic decision. But I will never join another political party. Um, I hope that under a different leadership I can return to the Labour Party, which remains my political home. And are you saying that Jeremy Corbyn is unfit to be Prime Minister because of his failure to deal with anti-Semitism in the party, or does it go more widely than that? Well, Labour can't be an anti-racist party if it turns a blind eye to racism towards Jewish people. And Jeremy Corbyn seems to have very great difficulty recognising that problem. He thinks it's confined to the right wing of politics, the National Front, the British National Party and groups of that sort. He can't see that it's there on the left. And since his leadership, it's become dominant within the Labour Party. So I think that that is a, a very great concern. It's not just about Jewish people. It's about the nature of our whole society. It's about diversity. It's about acceptance. It's about people feeling at ease within society. And that's why it matters to the whole country. And, and what do you believe is happening within the Labour Party and its membership in terms of its attitude to, towards Jews? I think that people who support Jeremy Corbyn in almost a cult-like manner and um, just go along with whatever he's saying and if he says there isn't anti-Semitism or there is very little they just accept that without even thinking about it. I think there are people who come from the hard left who without realizing it have actually accepted some very old anti-Semitic conspiracy theories about Jewish people being all-powerful, controlling matters, acting in their own interests, and hardly recognize what they're doing. And for many other people, really oblivious to most of this, they just go along with what they see around them. There are people, there are brave people who do speak out, and I have people in my local party who have consistently spoken out against the anti-Semitism they see around them. But often other people dismiss that as simply smears against the leadership, and that to me is a horrendous thing to say. Is there also a misogynist element to this? It seems that women MPs are being targeted disproportionately. There is a misogynist element if you look at what's happening and who's actually being targeted and Luciana Berger, my friend and colleague, has already been hounded out of the Labour Party. Margaret Hodge, long-standing, terrific MP with a fine record, is facing a trigger ballot. Diana Johnson in and Hull facing a trigger ballot as well. Ruth Smith, still in the Labour Party, but has faced abuse and horrendous treatment. There does, Labour does seem to have a problem with women. And just uh, finally, is this anti-Semitism problem really concentrated around the Labour Party or are you worried it's much more broad in British society? There's been a very worrying increase in anti-Semitism within 
British society as a whole and, and indeed across Europe this is extremely disturbing but when I see this phenomena rising in the Labour Party as well and the leader of the Labour Party struggling to accept it and then on top of that the Equalities and Human Rights Commission conducting a statutory inquiry into whether the Labour Party is, is institutionally anti-Semitic I think we're in a very bad place.